Welcome back to Spoiler Free Wrestling, everyone. And unfortunately, some sad news to pass along today. The legendary Hall of Famer Mean Gene Okerlund has passed away at the age of 76. Gene Okerlund, whose voice will be forever associated with so many classic moments in the history of professional wrestling. Gene Okerlund, who many of us grew up listening to as the voice of the professional wrestling we loved as we were kids growing up. Numerous wrestlers and personalities from the wrestling world have paid tribute to the passing of Mean Gene Okerlund on social media. Let's take a minute to review a few of them. WWE sent out the following this morning upon learning of the news. WWE is saddened to learn that WWE Hall of Famer Gene Okerlund, the most recognizable interviewer in sports entertainment history, has passed away at age 76. Jeff Jarrett sent out the following tribute. He said, The world lost an incredible man today, the very best at his role in our industry. On camera, quick wit, great hype, pros pro, off camera, a gentleman's gentleman. The phrase of often imitated but never duplicated is very appropriate for my friend, rest in peace, Mean Gene Okerlund. Tony Schiavone, who worked with Okerlund in WCW for many years, said, devastated to hear the news of my friend Gene Okerlund's passing. He was and will always be pro wrestling's greatest stick man. Hashtag Mean Gene. Jim Ross spoke of his uh, longtime colleague, said, So sad today to hear of the sudden passing of my dear friend Gene Okerlin. I just saw Mean Gene in North Carolina at WrestleCade. It's so true that our tomorrows are never guaranteed. Say hello to Jan, which is uh, Jim Ross's wife who passed away. Say hello to Jan, Mean Gene. Stephanie McMahon who would have grown up watching Mean Gene Okerlund on her father's television program, wrote, Gene Okerlund was an incredibly rare talent. He made everything and everyone better. Thank you, Mean Gene, for all the incredible memories, our, condol our condolences to his family and loved ones. Triple H said, A voice and soundtrack to an entire era of our industry. He was the star of some of WWE's most memorable segments. Mean Gene was beloved by all who got to work with him. Our thoughts are with his family at this difficult time. Jeremy Borash also worked with Mean Gene in WCW, but talked about growing up listening to Gene Okerlund as the voice for AWA. He said, growing up in AWA country, I never wanted to be a wrestler. I wanted to be Gene Okerlund, a wonderful friend and mentor for the past 20 years. There will never be another like him. Rest in peace, my friend. And Samoa Joe, I thought, had an interesting tribute. Samoa Joe said, of the very few regrets I harbor in my career, one was never getting to scream, mean Gene, when answering the queries of a man who, whose presence was larger than life and ingrained in the better memories of my childhood. Rest in peace, Mean Gene. My condolences to the Okerlund family. Bruce Pritchard, who would have worked with Gene Okerlund for many, many years in WWE. Bruce Pritchard wrote, Rest in peace, Mean Gene Okerlund. Gene was the mold others aspired to be. Without a doubt, one of the most talented individuals I have ever had the privilege to work with. Rest in peace, Gene, and thank you, for all of your wisdom and help throughout the years. And I guess it's notable. We lost Bobby Heenan in September of 2017. So 16 months later, um, a little bit over 16 months, we lose Mean Gene Okerlin as well. And the last one we'll look at here from Stone Cold Steve Austin. He wrote, just heard Mean Gene Okerlund has passed away 
As an interviewer, pitchman, announcer, or host, he was untouchable, simply the best, total professional with quick wit, sarcasm, humor, and that golden voice. Condolences to his friends and family. So again, really sad news. Who has ever heard a bad word about Mean Gene Okerlund? Professional wrestling loses a true legend today. Unfortunately, Mean Gene Okerlund passes away at the age of 76.